In this video, we're going to focus on how we can remove the color boxes. As you can see here, we have this unique line shape here, but they will only respond on specific bars that have two data points. If they only have a single data point, it will not show. So let's start to look how to show the tooltip color boxes. First thing what we want to do here, of course, is to create a stack bar chart. So I'm going to scroll down and add up the other bar chart data set. So I'm going to copy all of this, put a comma here, paste that in there, and then I will scroll down and I will refresh. Let's convert this into a stack bar. Let's say a stack equals true, comma. Then I'm going to add up this here, say comma again, stack equals true, refresh. So now we have this here, but you can see here we have this. So what we want to do is we want to show immediately both of these uh, labels. So we're going to scroll scroll here up, I guess. And we're going to say interaction. And within the interaction, what we're going to do is we're going to say the mode, and the mode will be index. By doing that, we have now shown both of these items here. As you can see here, we have here, we will see always both of the labels immediately, but only if we intersect. For this sample or example here, we should have it always shown, but not only on intersect, if we are nearby to it as well. So I'm going to put that in here. So I'm going to say intersect, and this will be false. By doing that, save, refresh, you can see here, even if we are outside of the area here, it will immediately recognize the location or what is the nearest data point. So this is perfect. Now what we need to do is we need to work with the tooltip plugin. So we're going to say your skills, comma, we're going to say your plugins, and then within the plugins, we're going to say the tooltip. And in the tooltip, what I want to do here is start to play with the logic of these items here. We should show only if we have two data points or, uh, well, only if you have two data points. If there's only one, or a value would be equal to zero, in that case, it should not show. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to remove one data point here, and the other one I'll say here as a null value. Save, refresh, and as you can see here, right now, this one shows only one, which is correct, but if I go here, this is a tricky one, this shows both. Well, they're not both in here. So we need to make sure we remove the zero value for that. So I'm going to scroll down here, I'm going to play around with this now in here because it, these two should not be shown. That makes sense. Or at least the squares should not show. What we need to do is we're going to work with the display colors. And if we set this on false, if I save this refresh, you can see here, it will, oh, apparently we just keep on showing display color, right? It's display colors with an S, save, refresh. As you can see here now, it removes the color boxes. However, I only want to do it on this and on this one. So how do we do this here? What I need to do here is what we call a callback functionality. I'm going to say here CTX, function error expression. And then what I'm going to do here is start to work and build a condition. And the condition is very simple. First of all, I need to know all the data points that we have, that we can see immediately, like the zero and the 18. We need to have these numbers because they are important for us. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create here, or well, let's do a console log, and then just show these values. So I'm going to say CTX, and let's explore them. Open up the developer tab. If I hover over, you can see here it will work. If I refresh and hover on the purple one, it will only get the purple data. So you can see here an array of two, and then we can see here the two tip items, which is Friday. That is correct. Friday is purple. And you can see here the value is 12 and 12, which is correct. They're both. 12, but you can see here the data set index. This is index number or data set number one, and this is data set number zero. So these are two different data sets. So this recognizes it. So what I really want to do here is I want to get here the raw value, which is now 12. If, let's refresh, go on Monday, you will see here we get an array of two, but here the raw value one is equal to null. Let's see here, as you can see here, and the other one would be equal to uh, index number one equal to 18. So what I want to do is I want to create this as an array. So what I'm going to do here, 
uh, let's map this out so I'm going to say a constant and let's call this the vertical values or balls I'm just giving it, giving it a name and then what I want to do here is ctx dot and then let's look at where we need to go we need to go here we have here the ctx then we get the two tip items it's capital I then we're going to say a dot map so we're going to create a new array with only those specific items we we want for that applicable for the tooltip. So I'm going to say here for every data set, and we can even put here index here, but that's all right. If we're doing this here, let's make it like that. Function error expression. And then, oh, well, we, what we could do, I realized we could even shorten it. No need for this. Let's reduce the amount of code. What I want to do here is data set dot raw. That is the data which is the raw data here, here, this one here. So once I do this and I save this, ignore that, refresh, let's console log this specific value. You will see now it will get only the values of the stack data set. As you can see here, we get here the null and the 18. And then I guess there's a lot of other console logs here. Let's remove this, do it again. 18 and null, 12, 12 etc etc so this is confirmed you can see here this one is nine only one single data set here but this one have two is the value zero or null so this is very nice and the reason why we need this here eventually is we need to check when we want to show or display the color we can say here display and then we, if we do a return of true it will show of course the item there we are but now what we want to do is in this case here false and then this one false as well so what I'm going to do here we're going to say here the following we're going to say here constant I'm going to make a constant for this I'm going to say here has a invalid value and this invalid value will be basically from the array we're going to get this array which we just created and then we're going to hit dot sum and what the sum object or method does is it will search within the existing array if the if there are any values that are matching with something if any of these within the array matches it will trigger it it will say true so what I'm going to say here this value whatever the value would be yes if this is the value would be equal to for example null or the value will be equal strict to zero or the value will be equal to un find if that is the case then what I want to do is I just want to return the value immediately so then I'm going to say here if this is true return basically here the value or what I want to say here we're going to return it but I notice that we have another condition here let's see here let's see what we have here before I get ahead console log this should show here true on certain condition false 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 true so if it's true we need to return here immediately with display color will be equal to false so that's the first one but I'm going to leave this as, as it is because this value is right now pending and the reason why it's pending is we're going to use that now in a other statement so we're going to say here the following because what we know more is uh, we saw the two tip items where we can see if there's more than one value like this one only has one value but these others all have two values so what we're going to do here is we're going to return if ctx dot two tip items dot length will be bigger than one so there's like more than one value and if it has not and it's not true to the has value the has value is true but we want to say it should be false because it should not consist any of these values here if I save this refresh you can see this one works now let me go here it will show only here and what about this one there we are so now you see it works but you might say well, hold on what about this tooltip item here let's start to pinpoint this part now so what we need to do here is uh, in the tooltip we're going to make another item here uh, let's see here well this is the display colors I'm going to say comma and then what I want to do here is work with the call 
callbacks. And the callbacks here will be based on the label. And the label is basically the values in here. This is the label here, which is the data set name of uh, weekly sales that you can see here. Let's go up here. That's this one here, the label. And then the matching value. Of course, you can customize that, but I will not cover that. I'm going to work only on this. Then I'm going to say here again, callback functionality, we're going to say CTX, arrow function expression, and then we're going to say here. Well, before we even say anything, let's explore what it does. So I'm going to do this. Then as you can see here, I'm going in here, it will show certain value here. So it will show here, as you can see here, it will show one line at a time. So it's not like a array with two of these objects within there. No, it's just a single value here. That is not a problem because we can just use this. So it will consider it like a new line every time. What I'm going to do here is the following. I'm going to say here, well, what do we need here? We're going to look at the CTX. Let's open one of these and look at the raw value. Very similar to what we just did. So we're going to do here, we see here the 18, we see here the raw value of 18. So what I'm going to say here, if the constant, or sorry, the CTX dot raw will be equal to zero, and then we can say here, or, well, you can, you'll probably guess what we're going to do. We're just going to grab this entire logic here. Um, I guess we could zero, no, well, we can just copy this here. Equal to null, or equal to, and then we say here, undefined. If this is true, yes, so if there would be any value that we see in here, we will say that this will return nothing, basically blank. So if I save that, refresh, you can already see here now this works, this works, this works. There we are. So we have this all working. We could do here just for the case of it. And then we say here else return the ctx.data set.label, which is basically the item itself. So now you can see here everything works, but I noticed that the value is being removed. So maybe we can just remove this. No need for that. So you get still the numeric value as well. So the weekly sales, colon, and then number nine or any of the values. All right, so we have all of this here. If you want to have these points here or changing these items, we can do that as well. Let's do that one as the last one. So I'm going to say here, um, use points point style will be equal to true comma then we're going to say here for the point style we need to add up another callback so if you only do it like this we get a circular shape what i want to do here is just make a rectangle or a line anything there are many shapes you can find them all but i'm going to just show here within the callback so we have to make sure it's in the callbacks object and then we're going to say here the label point style and then again here the CTX structure very similar or identical structure as below so then here I will just type in return and just give you the answer here immediately but you can explore it on your own so I say here the point style could be a line comma do we want to have any rotation in this case also rotation will be equal to zero if I save this we get now here it will get lines and here it will disappear there we are you can see all these lines there we are so what i can test here last one let's see here uh undefined make a zero uh and, uh, i guess that's all of it there we are there you are there you are and there so it shows and works accordingly and that's it